Hello there again uh, everyone, welcome back to another minifigures review video and uh, today we are going to take a look at another set of uh, Squid Game minifigures and these are actually brought to you by KDL, right? So previously I have already reviewed WM's version so uh, let's take a look at KDL's version and see which is better and of course uh, before we start the review uh, do remember to subscribe to this channel to show your support to the channel so that uh, I can continue to bring you a uh, more minifigures review All right so let's begin then uh, so let's start with uh, Sabiok the contestant number three or number seven sorry uh, okay so 67 is the minifigure and comes with she comes with actually two accessories uh, this is the candy so with one circular shape and one uh, triangle shape okay so here's the minifigure and look at the face printing and I do think uh, the face printing yeah, of course it's not 100% uh, knowing the the actress but it really does capture uh, her aesthetics you can see their freckles very nicely done it does have that kind of uh, expression from from the actress it's very nice I do like it a lot right uh, she doesn't come with second face printing but the hairpiece is very nice you know this hairpiece is just I'm not sure if this is uh, uh, they actually sculpted this for for this minifigure. It really looks like the actress hair or, or the the character on on screen hair. It's very nice, very suitable, really very suitable. It does give the feeling of of the character from the show. So I really like this a lot. The entire head, face print and the hair is very well done. Okay, so body print here, you can see. It's not too bad. Uh, they started to put in all this kind of detailing, the shadows. So just not simple printing. So it's not bad, very nice. This is how she normally wears the jacket or the sweatsuit. You can see, and even the white here is quite well done. I mean, as in the printing is quite bright. It's a very bright white here, so well done. But there are no uh, side printing, uh, side arm printing here, no back leg printing, uh, back body prints there. Okay, same goes for this side. So this is very nice. The, the face print is alone is very nice. Uh, I've seen a couple of versions of her, I think. Uh, I think this is really the best. Uh, of course, I'm not going to review all the sets. There are just tons of sets uh, been uh, released. So I think KDL's version is the best for for this character, Sabiok. So it's very nice. Next we have Sangwoo. Okay, 218. So it comes with a name card. And also one of the candy. Let's see the midfigure. Uh, look at the face printing. I think it's okay. Uh, it's good enough. It does. Well, it just looks. I wouldn't say 100% like the actor. Uh, the actor, but still good enough. Possible. Okay. It does comes with the second face print. An injured one. Uh, I do like this one a lot as well. Let's see here. The, all these scars on the face. Very nice. The hair piece here. I think it's a very common hair piece uh, for short hair minifigures. Yeah, it's a very common one. Nothing special about this. Okay, so look at the body print here. 
uh, again uh, very nice because one thing I really love it is that you just look at this here on the neck it's actually the skin color uh, it's actually a very brightly printed skin tone so it, it's it's actually matching the plastic color so it's very nice I can see here even the white color like I mentioned uh, just very true to the character it normally zips halfway through you can see uh, the under t-shirt okay so uh, no side body printing side arm printing you can see back body print no back leg printing okay so of course we have to bring in the WM's version okay first off in terms of color uh, Okay, although from screen here you can see uh, the difference in the green is there but from the naked eye is actually more or less the same you don't really see the difference that much okay the two colors are more or less the same green so you can actually swap them and you won't even notice the difference okay yeah it's more or less this is uh, the one from KDL is actually lighter green but it's not really huge difference okay so in terms of face printing okay let me switch over okay you can see both with the glasses version uh, I think WM's one is not bad but KDL's one I, I do like the KDL's one more it's just more representative of the uh, on-screen character you can see there okay see the injured face again the WM's one is not bad as well but still uh, I do like the one from KDL I think it's more well done okay so like as usual KDL does better face printing than WM's okay so look at the uh, in terms of body print like I mentioned you can see here WM's the neck part here this is badly printed as in it's a very dull uh, skin color whereas the one from KDL is a very bright skin color so the printing is way better Okay, uh, in terms of body print, full body print wise, uh, WM's one has more detailing to it, more shadow touch up, right? But the white color here, the, the shoes, if you look at it, the one from KDL, it's way brighter and this is like uh, off white uh, because it can't really cover the green color that well, whereas the one from KDL actually covers the green very well so it's a very uh, bright white color but of course uh, WM actually has the side leg printing which is very nice it also has the side uh, back leg printing okay so here yeah, back body print so it depends uh, this one actually has a weakness on the leg part perhaps you can actually swap it then yeah from from the camera you do see uh the tones uh very obvious but seriously from naked eye you don't really see the difference it's more or less the same okay so they have sangu so next we have contestant number one I don't really remember his name. Uh, it comes with the red light, green light. Uh, perhaps it's really good in this game. And also a candy. Look at the minifigure. See, look at the face printing. Uh, it's very good. Uh, I like all the wrinkles. Very detailed and very clean. For old man, 
okay possible for face print and uh, no back face printing okay so again a uh, very nice skin color here but uh, I think this is a little bit inaccurate because normally he would actually zip all the way to the top you won't even see the neck uh, right neck portion you won't even see it so this is a bit inaccurate normally we see him actually zip all the way up right so body printing here compared with the rest kind of have a little bit lesser details okay so again uh, no side body print no side leg print back leg print okay I'm not sure why he actually has lesser uh, details because you compare with the WM's version so I did have a uh, uh, repurchase another WM's uh, 001 because mine the first one actually came uh, with one less arm so now I have a newer one all right you can see uh, in terms of face printing uh, I think this is just the WM one is overly uh, done you can see I, I think the brown color is badly used right whereas this looks more natural so KDL's face print is better okay body printing wise like I mentioned this is more accurate it zips all the way up to the top okay this is revealing a little bit of the skin okay uh, there's more detail for the WM one okay so WM comes with like body paint it's the back printing okay so the WM's version actually the body printing is I think it has more detail to it but the KDL's one is kneeling it on the face print okay so I'm not sure why you know. It's just perhaps they don't want to repeat the same detailing. Still, is good enough. Uh, I do like the face print a lot. Okay. So next we have Ki Hoon and four five six comes with the name card and the candy, the umbrella candy. Okay, it's the minifigure. Look at the face print here. I think it's not bad as well. You can see here. Of course, not hundred percent accurate, but still uh, acceptable. Very nice. Okay, it comes with a very silly face print here, trying to replicate his uh, silly smile on screen. Uh, yeah, not hundred percent, but yeah, quite a good job here. Yeah. Uh, the hair is very nice. This hair piece is very suitable for this character. Uh, I think it's also sculpted especially for him. It's a very nice hair sculpt here. Really suitable for this character. It really looks like his hair from from the show. Okay. Uh, body printing here. Uh, this is accurate. He always shows he doesn't zip, so you can see one of the numbers from the uh, under T-shirt. Okay. So. Sufficient detailing, you can see some shadows, uh, very clean printing here, the white here is also quite bright. Uh, this, I'm not sure why this is a little bit uh, showing the green color. Okay, never mind. So, no back side printing, no back leg printing, this is the back printing. Again, very well done on the skin color. I really love it when the body prints actually has very bright printing. Okay, so we have to bring in the WM's version here. Uh, firstly, the face printing for WM is definitely off on this one. This is the one from KDL, way nicer, and also the hair. Is more accurate. This actually looks like the bad guy, you know. At first, I thought this is actually the bad guy from the show, uh, but it's actually Gihun. 
So the hair is totally off from the W Okay, it look at the face screen. Mm, this one is okay for W. It's okay. But still KDL's one is I think I, I prefer the KDL's one. And the hair scalp is 100% off, right, for WM. Body printing wise, uh, again, heavy usage of shadows by WM. But both is very accurate uh, to how the character actually dressed up, right? See here again, cyclic printing and a back print. So I'm not sure why KDL doesn't do the leg printing, back leg printing and side leg printing. Okay. And of course, the KDL's version also comes with the red color hair. Right at the end of the show, you actually uh, went for a hairdo and changed his hair color to red color. So yeah, this is a nice, nice touch. Uh, it's not really important, but yeah, at least they gave you some options. Very nice. Okay, very well done. So next we have the boss. So the boss actually comes with a handgun. Okay, a very nice handgun. Very detailed here. It also comes with a timer, which I think it's irrelevant to the minifigure. So look at the minifigure here. Okay, look at the mask printing here. It's very nice. I do like it a lot. Look at all the details. See, it captures so well until the eyes here. You actually have some kind of netting on the eyes. Uh, it also done here. You can you can actually see it's printed here as well. So it's very well done. Very nice face printing, the whole mask is very well done, you can see. Okay, so it's very special that this whole thing is actually one whole piece and it reveals the face. I, I do think this actually looks like the actor, Lee Byung Hun. It does capture his face very well, you can see here. Yeah, I like this one, this face print is very well done, it, it gives the vibe of the actor, you can see here. Okay, no back face printing. So this is a very nice touch of uh, the mask together with the hood, right? You can see the hood here. It's very nice silverish plastic, and with the mask protruding out rather than being all the way inside. If you look at the one from from WM, you can see it's the normal hood, and the face is all the way inside. But actual fact, this is the one from KDL is more accurate. It's how it should look like. The mask is actually protruding uh, to the out outer side rather than all the way inside. And of course, the, the face printing, uh, the mask printing, the KDL's one, really superb. Way better than WM's. Okay. So again, very nice face printing, mask printing, excellent. Okay. So, body print wise, it's very simple because it relies on the uh, silverish plastic. So. Uh, just very minimal printing, okay. No side body print, no side arm printing, no back printing, no back leg printing. So it relies purely on uh, the plastic color, okay. Actually, the WM one is more or less the same. Uh, so the KDL's one is a much more brighter silverish, and the one from uh, WM is actually a darker one. I, I felt this, the one from KDL is more accurate in terms of the color. Uh, body print wise, although the WM one has more printing, but it's it's wrong. Why would you see the uh, the chest here, right? It's wearing one coat, so by right this is more accurate. Okay, and there's no uh, underface, and there's no unmask hate for this WM version. Okay, so I, I, I love this, the one from KDL, way more than the WM one. Face printing is superb, the, the sculpt for the mask all is brand new, 
this is using the normal hood all right the the entire the whole mask is accurate and the face printing for Yi Byung Hun is very well done I don't know it just really looks like him and it comes with an extra hood right so you can actually do it this way without the mask but still with the hood on excellent really tons of options for this from KDL amazing love it right the KDLs very nice so lastly we'll look at the the guards so the guards here the three guards we're going to take a look at them in one shot okay from the first view you can see as that all three of them has different body print which is excellent superb uh, a lot of variations and options for you right so they all come with the same weapon uh, this is like a I think this is just overdue this gun here is comes with actually comes with a grenade launcher so I, I don't think it's accurate in the show they actually they're just using AK-47 uh, this is from WM so weapon wise this is very nice but it's not accurate the one from WM is more accurate it should be AK-47 uh, this is more like a, a warfare kind of Rambo kind of gun right and they all come with the handgun the same one from the boss minifigure okay so take a look at the minifigure itself the first one and I gotta say it's again superb uh, this whole sculpt here is just like the boss one so it makes the whole face uh, mask everything very accurate to the on-screen presence and you can see here the printing they actually printed a lot of the uh, texture like the neck netting texture it's just superb you know and of course when you remove it it's just uh, the stud uh, they do print it for you so you can see here very detailed very nice this is how it should be done just excellent you know they do have this kind of netting uh, texture on their mask right so if you take a look at the one from WM it's just different class the, the one from KDL totally outclassed WM so okay so of course uh, KDL actually provided this okay you can put it on but I don't see why do you require that because the one with the far, the bit of mask, the sculpt is the best. It really looks superb. Uh, body printing wise, it's nice, sufficient. We love details, uh, enough detailing. Okay. Because if you look at the one from WM, it's more or less the same, right? Uh, of course, WM put a lot of shadows and uh, wrinkles. it's good enough the boots from the KDL's version I do think it's more detailed than the WM's one you can see you can see the entire boot with the uh, front and then there's the bottom of the boot you can see the difference here they also the one from WM you can't really see the sole of the boots right uh, of course the WM actually comes with side printing you can see Whereas the KDL one doesn't have side printing. Again, no back leg printing. Okay. Uh, but one thing is that the color of the plastic, the one from KDL, actually is more accurate than the one from WM. This is a wrong uh, pinkish color. This is the accurate one. Right. So overall, KDL's one is really the best in comparison with the WM one. Right very nice this is very nice so the other one uh, it also comes with the same weapon okay right it comes with a totally different body print which we have seen this as well so again excellent detailing here I mean giving you all this variety is just you know, the one from from WM let me show you one thing You check it out from WM's one. 
they're all the same right they're all the same even KDL they gave you all the varieties that you saw from the show all right this is a different one okay to the back and see even the back is different right of course the no side body print I really love the boots you know very well detailed boots here Okay, so again, just look at the face, the mask, excellent detail here, right? So of course, let's take a look at the last one, same weapon. Okay, let's look at the body print, another different version with the belt across the shoulder here, at the chest, sorry. So very nice, very very nice touch on, on giving different body print, right, again excellent face printing, the mask is just excellent, of course at the bottom, uh, underneath is all the same, start with the circle, this comes with the start, with the triangle, okay, so let's put them together. And I'm going to show you the uh, WM's one. Okay, let me put a little bit further here. Okay, just look at the both WM, KDL. Accurate plastic color, a variety of body print, even the mask printing, the mask sculpt, everything is new, the hood is new. WM is reusing the old stuff, right? So KDL really knocks all this away. The best uh, god minifigure from Squid Game. Uh, I'm getting a few more of this. I really love this. These are really excellent minifigures. Superb job by KDL. Very impressive. Although without the back leg printing, no side printing, uh, I think I can forgive that because it's just tremendous job here. Right? So there you have it. KDL's version of Squid Game. And I gotta say, this is very excellent set. This is a very excellent set. Just superb. Uh, they gave you new sculpts on the on the mask and the hood. You know, uh, way better face printing. Uh, although not heavy printing on the body, and the only weakness is no side body print and no back leg printing. But still, I think this is way better than WM set. Uh, they really ensure that it it actually matches the on screen uh, uh, version of the characters as much as possible. Right, so this is indeed, as of now, the best uh, Squid Game minifigure that you can actually purchase. Alright, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Alright, thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.